Hi guys, I'm Comicnizer, and today we're going to be talking about Mantis. Mantis was first introduced to the comics in 1973. She's a Marvel character. She, her story begins with her being left at a very young age to these priests of Pama. I'm not quite sure if that's how it's properly pronounced, but I'm going to say Pama. They're, they were alien priests who taught her martial arts. And they taught her everything there was to know about martial arts. She became a Grand Master at a very young age, right after she turned 18. Um, but the thing that made her different was that not only when she learned martial arts, she learned how to control her body, but she learned how to control her mind and use more of her mind, which led her to have abilities like astral projection, which means she could make like two of herself and one could be over there fighting and the other one could be at home having dinner with her boyfriend or whatever at the time. Um, we got her having plant manipulation, which means she can control plants and things like that. So that's pretty neat. She can also sense other people's feelings. Um, so, uh, psychic empathy. So she could tell if you're mad or angry or happy or something like that, which is pretty cool, which come in pretty handy, which we got to see in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 in the trailer, that little joke in there. That was pretty funny. Um, so it's cool that they went ahead and showed that and let us know that as far as we know, this character is going to have all the abilities she's had in the comics. So I'm curious to see if they're going to keep everything or they're going to change. Because, you know, Marvel likes to change stuff. Not a lot, but they like to change just a little bit in certain characters or storylines to make the cinematic universe its own thing and make it a little separate from the comics. So I'm curious to see what, or if any, are they going to do different with this character because she was first introduced in the comics with the Avengers. She was she first came on the Avengers. She wasn't in Guardians, so for them to bring her on in Guardians of the Galaxy makes me believe they're going to do a little something different with her. She's probably going to have a major key point in them trying to find Star-Lord's dad which we know Starler's dad is Ego, the living planet. So more likely, that's what she's doing there. She knows where he's at, or she knows somebody who knows where he's at. So they'll be very, I'm very curious to see how they're going to use this character in the cinematic universe. But she's a pretty interesting character. She's a very important character, I think. I think she'll be very important. But I want to know what you guys think. I want to know down in the comments below, do you guys think that this character is worth even having it in a cinematic universe? Do you think she's a waste of time? Do you think there's not that much to her, her and her story to bring into the universe? Or do you think it's awesome and great that they're going to bring her in? We're going to have another great fem female lead, I think. Because, you know, you can always have a, another great female lead superhero in the universe. So I'm curious to see how it all plays out. But again, let me know down in the comments below what you think. And as always, guys, have a great day and stay nerdy.